Hello friends, welcome back. This is the last video of your Java basic series. In this, I will be teaching you how you can take the input from the user or how you can take the input or read the input rather then I would say take the input read from the keyboard. You can take the input or read from the keyboard as required as per required to your needs. Sometimes you need to take the input during the program execution of the program and you have to take those instant values. So those instant values or you can say dynamic values have to be taken during the runtime of the program. How to do this we will see in this video. Basically in Java for reading from the keyboard or entering some values from the keyboard during the execution of the program is basically done by two classes that is first you can use your scanner class or you can use your buffer reader class these two classes help us to do or help us to read the input from the from the user buffer reader class is quite long and so we will be studying about scanner class scanner class is very easy to understand and very easy to use so you just your own last motive is or your only one and only motive is to read from the keyboard so using scanner class it is pretty more easy to use it and implement it so i will be teaching you about scanner class like how you can take your integer input your character input and so on so without wasting any time let's switch on to the practical implementation first of all i would like to tell you that scanner class is present only in java.util package so scanner class is an inbuilt class that you can find from java.util package and you can see in java.util if i write scanner okay so let me just write down here scanner and you can see the scanner in you can implement scanner in your classes okay so this is your scanner class let me just open it up in for you so that you can see how exactly the scanner class looks like and here you can see this is your scanner class that has been already made in java and here we have some methods that we can use those methods to write or to take the input which helps us to do things very easily okay so you can see there are so many documentation or the codes that has been already written to make our life easy okay so let's you can read it at your own that's very easy to use and let's now directly start with the scanner class in order to attain scanner class you know it's a class so you have to create the object let's say i have created scanner class dot um, object of scanner class um, sc is equals to new scanner and this is how the object of this scanner class has been created for us to use and here you have to write system dot in which indicates that the input will be from the keyboard and not from us okay so this is a system dot inline that you have to have to write okay so i just have to remove this it's that's it system dot in this indicates that the user will be giving some values from the keyboard and you have to go for that instead of scanner let's take it sc that's more easy to write and use so i will tell you how to take an integer value so let's take int a is equal to sc dot next int you can see next and int so this is a way how you can take the integer value um now next is your double similarly double d is equal to sc dot you can see it already has given me xc dot next double okay so it has already smartly it has read and do did our work that's that's it and i will simply just display it system dot out dot print ln a and d just to in order to check whether the inputs are been taken or not so let's run this and you can see i have displayed a message enter so this message enter has been displayed so now let's put the values in it's 89 so 89 will be input you can see the green color green color indicates that this value has been input by me from the keyboard then then is double so double let's take it 49.68 so and we got these values you can see a and d were being displayed and you got that in a a got the value of integer and d get the value of the double only so if i just you you were must be thinking that when if instead of putting integer value what if i input the wrong value like double or like some another type of a value what will happen so let's see instead of putting the integer value let's put 8.96 and then in you can see it gave me an error it didn't allow me to go for this second line it directly threw me an error so what's the error just let's read it okay so this is an input mismatch in exception you can see it's an input mismatch exception which means that the user was asked to input a value that should be of integer type but what happened i put the value that is of what of the decimal type so it said how you can go for it it's int a you cannot put so make sure that whenever you are inputting something into the computer or into your system you make sure that you follow the sequence in what way you are going for it 
okay so let's go again and if i put this time let's say 45 and let's say i put here 12.3 it's perfect because i maintain the sequence first integer was asked i put integer only and then i put the decimal value so you should know how you can take the inputs i'm writing for the line so that you can see to take the string you have to take sc dot and you can see it's next uh, next where is next and here you can see here it is next sorry it's next and then line so this is our way to take the string to take the care you have care ch let's take it in ch and then you can go for sc dot mm, next and then you have to dot care at and then put just index zero you are done so this is a way simply you can put and take the values from your user double type long time string type and any other type because you might be requiring during the execution of your complicated program like how to take the input from the keyboard during the execution of the program so during the execution you need a scanner class or a buffer class so in this video we taught it was scanner class it's the most easy so we went for the scanner class that's it guys thank you for watching and i hope you like this java series